All right, we got a Costco haul for you. This is our first monthly haul that we've had in a couple months, but the amazing thing is that everything that we ordered actually came. Let's get this inside and take a look. Next, we have pineapple. And usually I just get the refillable ones. What do we use toilet paper for? <laughs> we just found something new that I'm really excited about. All right, so we've got everything inside. This is a $1,408 order. Now, I think that probably about a thousand dollars got us this four months ago. That's inflation for you folks. I guess we must have gotten a little bit more food than last time because we did have to extend the table and utilize chairs and the bench and all of that. Rather than being upset and bummed out about it, we just kind of look at it as it is what it is and we're gonna do what we have to to make it work. I want to take a second to say that I am so thankful that number one, I don't have to do this on a weekly basis. Once a month or once every couple months is enough for me. But number two, that we were actually able to go three months without doing a Costco haul. That we had enough stock built up that we didn't really go without anything for those three months. One of the ways that you can get started working towards monthly grocery shopping and building your food supply is to download our grocery inventory. It's a great starting point to keep track of what you have, what you need, and what you want to stack up on. I'll link that in the description below. Let's talk about the food. I've got my wonderful helpers here. <laughs> Breslin is holding one of our Tomatoes. tomatoes we used to buy the big tomatoes from Costco and then when we started growing our own we stopped and we started buying these and they're a little bit more flavorful and they're so perfect for kebabs. yeah salads and kebabs next we have, we have kiwis Kevin loves the kiwis Breslin loves the kiwis how do you eat them um stew. She cuts them in half and she'll go. And we have turtles. <laughs> the avocados. Oh, the turtles. For <laughs> mom and dad. Yes, For mom, mom and dad, dad, we use these to make homemade guacamole. Oh my goodness, it's one of my favorites. Yeah. And we'll just slice them up, put them on salads. Sometimes Kevin and some of the kids will eat them straight. I don't like them straight. I need like Delicious. something else with them. Watermelon! Yay! These are my favorite size watermelon to buy because we can cut one or two and we're done with it. Feeds everybody. I like to cut them up into cubes. The so kids, they don't get sticky. The kids and the dad like to cut them into slices and get watermelon stickiness everywhere. I'm a fork kind of watermelon person. <laughs> and next we have... Lots of bananas! Bananas time six. Kevin got sick of having smoothies without his bananas. So we have enough here. And I think these are perfect. They look like they're almost ripe. They're gonna be able to get cut up and put in the freezer here in a couple days. Yes? No? Today. 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 Not cut up. They're green tip. You don't cut them up. I'm sorry. Peeled. You're crazy. Peeled and put. I don't like bananas yeah. at all. Next we have garlic. We have been getting the garlic from Azure. Do you notice a difference? I honestly love that garlic better. This? You yeah, like it the feels better. Garlic? It's it's crispier, but I get that it's... I think we just need to grow more. Pineapple! Next we have pineapple! Asher has already called this pineapple. He wants to do some fermented pineapple. I was thinking more along the lines of fresh pineapple or maybe some dehydrated pineapple. Next we have the trash bags, vinegar for cleaning, and Dr. Teal's Epsom salt. And? What is that? Um, tape. Tape, yes, and tape. So we keep some school supplies up here in these jars. We've got markers, post-it notes, crayons, scissors, glue, and tape and the tape stash has gone down. And usually I just get the refillable ones. Honestly, these just showed up in my buy again. I grabbed them and didn't even think much of it. So now we have tape. Harbor, what do we do with the Brussels sprouts? We cut them and then roast them, and they're really good. 
green beans! Another staple vegetable in our house. We pretty much rotate from broccoli, green beans, and Brussels sprouts. Just kind of rotate. Next we have celery. Great just for snacking. Dip some peanut butter in it, but also good for Chicken guess, salad? Well, yes, chicken salad. Thank you. Because I'm like, anything that you cook it, it it's going to be it. more winter-esque. Yes. But yes, so good in chicken salad. Yum. And, and then we have cucumbers. These we have found are pretty good. There was a while where I stopped buying them because they weren't very good for a number of years, but they're good now. Yes. Like, there was a while where they just, they, were just they weren't. Great. No. Next we have a, I think it's six pounds, six pound bag of carrots. The carrots we got from Azure last time were not great, so we had to get some filler. We also have a five pound, five pound container of salt. We realized it used to be pink Himalayan salt, and now not anywhere on here does it say Himalayan. I don't know what that means. Mainly we use real salt, and we get that from an organic grain distributor here in Colorado. It's the best price I've found on it. But I just wanted to get some, honestly, I wanted some Himalayan salt, so I don't know if it's the same or not. If anybody knows, let me know. So I'm working on editing the Costco haul, and we got to the point about the pink Himalaya salt, and I did a little digging because I got curious. Turns out that Kirkland brand Himalaya salt has a class action lawsuit over the mislabeling of the salt because their salt does not come from the Himalayas, but rather than Pakistan. So therefore, it is no longer referred to as pink Himalaya salt, but just pink salt. Next, we have some more fruit. We have another giant watermelon back here for the 4th of July, specifically, and or tomorrow. We get people over. We'll see. It'll be for one of those. I got an extra pack of strawberries because they were reasonably priced. The only thing is that they were out of the organic, and so they substituted regular. Same with the blueberries and the blackberries. So the only thing that's organic is the raspberries, unfortunately. But those are gonna make an awesome, just berry dish for breakfast in the morning. And I think we're gonna also do a... A... A flag? Oh, yes, a thing. flag pizza. Flag pizza. Cookie pizza. Rock and roll. Harbor is going to make a berry cookie pizza that looks like an American flag. It's so fun. We've done it last two years and... You're me? Yeah. You're not making it? I did it two years ago. She did it last year. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll see. We're both gonna make it. Okay, so we got our whole pig. We shared that video if you haven't seen it and you're interested in getting a whole pig, you should check it out because the whole pig I would never buy any sort of pork from the grocery store ever again. If with the exception we could of? Have. Well, if we could bring in enough. With the but exception of? Bacon is one of those things. Like, I'm done buying pork tenderloin. The pork chops, the ham, everything is so delicious that there's mm -hmm. never a need to buy any pork anywhere else. This is one of those inflation things. Mm -hmm. Used to be $14.99, went to $16.99. Now it's like twenty. Yeah, it's insane. Like $21.99, $23.99. So the bacon consumption rate has decreased slightly. But this is one of those things where you can throw it in the freezer and it'll last long forever, time. Yeah, long dare time. I say. <laughs> well, the cool thing about this is they, they do a really good job yeah, it's really sealing well it. Sealed. So I have no problem putting this in there and eating two-year-old bacon, three-year-old bacon. So then we have more protein. We've got four packs of the honey smoked salmon. We throw this on a salad or eat it with crackers. cheese and crackers. Or straight. Or straight. This is another one of those things where, like, honestly, I could take this and the avocado and put them together and I'd probably be good, but both of them just by themselves, just not my thing. We also have four bags of frozen salmon. The wild caught Alaskan sockeye salmon is delicious. I have not been able to find it anywhere else that is as well priced and is, I guess, I, I consider this high quality 
I don't really know. I don't know the fishermen. So we also get two packs of the Mahi Mahi. It is a bit more expensive, but everyone loves it. And then next we have two bags of shrimp. Ah we have three children in our home now who are liking shrimp. Four, because you like it too. Yes. So Harbor's liking shrimp, Elias, Zayden, and Breslin. Zayden's like kind of eh. This is one of Breslin's favorites. Fire berry! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I have. So some people might have like a candy drawer or part of their cabinet where they keep like chocolate chips or candy bars or whatever. We have our freezer and the frozen berries are stored in the freezer and we catch our children, mainly Breslin, going in and helping herself because we have a pull-out drawer freezer and she goes and helps herself to berries all the time. Mm -hmm. So berries are like the candy in our family. Berries are the candy in our family. Next we have tuna. We do go through a whole pack of these when we have tuna as a meal. We'll usually do it on a salad, just kind of scoop it over top or with crackers and cheese. Some of that avocado, you know, like. And every once in a while, Harbor will make some bread. Bread. And we'll have tuna sandwiches. Oh, or English muffins, and we'll do tuna melts. Pasta! Yay! Okay, so this is one of those things that we used to buy heavily. And they stopped carrying it for the longest time. Oh, that's why you're It's second. quinoa pasta. It's gluten-free. It's free from dairy, gluten, eggs, peanuts, and GMO. It's really good. Like, of all of the pasta, I really enjoy it. It's really thin. Oh, it's great with goat cheese. It is. It's really good with goat cheese. Crackers! And we have crackers. Mom got these because... Might be ready? I might be ready to eat them. Let's see. More crackers! And then we have Triscuits. We love the organic Triscuits from Costco. They can go with tuna. They can go with the hummus that we haven't mentioned yet, which can also go with the celery. And they can go with the cheese that we get from Azure. And they just make a great snack to grab and eat. Speaking of quick, easy, convenience meals, I want to jump back over here. Harbor's got, got one of our favorites. Cauliflower pizza. This is one of the only cauliflower things that our mom will eat. <laughs> and it is a perfect emergency throw in the oven have some food fast next we have potato chips these are really good with hummus and homemade french onion dip and we also have tortilla chips that we like to do with tacos and nachos. guacamole nice and nachos yes mm, nachos Back to Breslin. More for you. And we got tortillas. We stopped eating grains and sugars and dairy and all of that for a while last year. And one of the things that I missed terribly was tacos and quesadillas and um, enchiladas. And we found these almond flour tortillas. Now they actually have quite a variety of different types, but the problem is that they are expensive if you buy them at the store. But if you get these at Costco, especially if you get them on sale, mm -hmm. they're very reasonable. How many did you get? Four. Sweet. We have goat cheese. We have two things that we use goat cheese for mainly. Number one is on Number one. <laughs> Number one is salad. Number one is salad. Yes. We do lettuce. We do strawberries, cut up dates, and Harbor makes occasionally cherries. Occasionally cher dried cherries, and Harbor makes a delicious salad dressing that goes on that. And puts the, we just crumble up the goat cheese, and it's amazing. The other thing we use a goat cheese for is to do a goat cheese and pasta. You just make up a pasta, throw some olive oil on it, crumble up the goat cheese, mix it up, and it's good to go. Baby bear!
Breslin loves her baby bell cheese. This is another one of those convenience foods that is so easy if you have a young child or a mom who needs a quick snack, you can grab a baby bell. These three cheeses, the last one I'm gonna mention in a minute, are the only cheeses that we buy not from Azure. Most of the cheeses we get from Azure and they are all raw, pasture-raised cheese. These three, I have not come up with an alternative for you. So this is the Parmesan cheese from Costco and it's delicious. I believe, I'm, not, I'm just gonna go with, it's delicious. We grate it with the microplane zester, actually. It's amazing at how well it just shreds, shreds the cheese Mom. so easily. This will go on pasta, Caesar salad, not a lot of things, but any sort of, we don't do a lot of pasta Parmesan dishes. Parmesan crusted chicken. That's a all dish. Oh. Next we have a 50 pound bag of sugar for Kevin to eat. Yes. Breslin's gonna share it with him. The sugar is technically to feed the bees and the hummingbirds. Grilling is not a season, it's a lifestyle. <sighs> yeah. We've been buying the Traeger pellets from Costco for a while now, and they're great. They are by far the best price that I've found on the Traeger pellets, if you don't care about having every different flavor that they have. But we just found something new that I'm really excited about. Costco has come out with their own Kirkland brand Traeger pellets. Barbecue hardwood pellets. This is a 40 pound bag and it is $7, I think, cheaper than the Traeger pellets. Hi. The Traeger is 33 pounds, so you get seven more pounds and it's seven less dollars. So if these work, I'm I'm stoked. Which I think you it's it's little clumps of wood that you put in a grill and it burns. So I'm thinking we should be good, right? Yeah. But just in case I got the one more bag of Traeger pellets because we're starting to run low. But then we also have the charcoal, which is on sale this month. So we have two packs of charcoal that 20 pounds each. They're 20, so it's 40, 40 pounds? It's 80 pounds. So we've got 80 pounds charcoal. And Zayden what did it. And Zayden what? And Zayden, Zayden, do you want to come share this? Come here, come over here. Next we have wild birds. Here. What do we do with this? Um, give it to the birds. Which birds? These ones. The ones outside. Mhm. Mm no, we don't have any cardinals. This one. It makes mommy sad. No cardinals for us. We have blue jays. We have lots of blue jays. Some finches. Next we have cat food. Who do we feed the cat food to? Mittens, Mercha, and Punky. Yes! What's this? Dog food for Hank and, and Boris. Very good, Zayden. Hank gets this one, Boris it, this one. And then what do we have right here? No, oh, here's a cat. <laughs> chips, which I don't know if they sell these year round, but I normally only get them like once summer. around this time of year. I want to say what these are. Okay. They're delicious. What are those? Next we have veggie straws. The veggie, my, my the veggie straws make an awesome quick and easy snack for the kids. I wouldn't call them super healthy, but again, if we buy them once or twice a year, I'm not worried it's about it. Oh no, Zayden, it exploded. Oh no, you're gonna have to eat them. Okay. Yeah. I can eat them. All right, let's get that. And then we can use some of the tape we just got from Costco to tape it shut. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have two s'mores kits because one definitely was not enough. Next, we have two tubs of the Vital Protein, Vital Proteins Collagen Peptide. 
peptides, 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 peptides. peptides. And these are a regular source of protein for us. They can get put in tea or smoothies. And it is 20 grams of collagen per serving, which translates to 10 grams of protein. 18 grams of protein. And this was on sale. You normally, when it's on sale, I'll buy like two and then two and then two. Ridiculously within. good sale too. Like, yeah, it's it like, like ten dollars off. Yeah. So next, I stopped buying chocolate chips from Costco, but where we get our grain here in town or in Colorado and Azure have both been out of chocolate chips for a while now. And from our vendor here in Colorado, they say that they're not expecting to get any in until fall-ish. We've got a decent stock, but I think that I just, I don't know. Just in case fall-ish turns into winter, spring. Next year, whatever. Yeah, who knows. I'm going to be stocking up on chocolate chips because they seem to be disappearing. And then lastly, this is mom's splurge. <laughs> These are delicious and they're fairly healthy for a candy bar, so try them. Berry cookie pizza flag, or flag cookie pizza. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get a flag with some berries in it and roll it up like a taco. Broccoli, green bean, I'm sorry, yeah, broccoli, green bean. Yep. The 